Yeah, the oars will. I managed to repair this CD player's amplifier after I popped it with um, in the audio modulating a ZVS video. As you how not to do it. As I clicked the uh, set in that video and showed, I connected one of the um, output for the headphones to one of the diodes input. I did get somewhat of a result, as you would have saw in that video, but uh, it also fed power. 36 volts DC straight into the um, amplifier chip. And here's the original one here, which got destroyed. Here's a UTC 2822M. I think it's a little 3 watt stereo amplifier, I think, or mono, I'm not too sure. I think it's stereo though, because it does have a stereo effect on the speakers. And I replaced it with a TDA 2822M, which came off the TV circuit board. There you go, huh? I okay, so I'm on your old electronics away. All sorts of parts you can pillage off to fix other things with. Great recycling effort. And then a little, little uh, I think it's a 200 or so, or 250 ohm resistor got smoked, but uh, didn't seem to bother it too much. It's not that bad out of tolerance, but I see how it went and it still works fine, so I didn't bother replacing it. I just replaced the uh, amplifier. That's it, it's fixed. J4 GGAB UTC 2822M. A common cheap little uh, audio amplifier in these sort using these sorts of uh, CD players and cassette players use these too. Man, this thing did get hot though. It's just sent power straight to the speakers. That's it. 100 hertz ripple. It's gone. Might finish finish it off with a capacitor back. Blow it properly. The TDA one, exactly the same I found out. I thought the pinouts or something would have been different, but no, it's exactly the same. All works. Pretty good, isn't it? I won't show on here any music though, because it's uh, copyright, but it's fixed. Anyway. Nothing else but been happening lately, just been busy on the farm as usual. Wait for my new um, Ignata to arrive, so I think I might be already in the post office, so I've got a feeling it's already arrived, so tomorrow I bet I've got me, because uh, our Wicked XC sent me um, something uh, in return for sending in that meter, so I think I know what that is. So next video you'll probably see, and be able to get this going again. It's a 400 watt ballast at 150 watt light, so this thing might get a bit of a caning. I have to uh, run this off another ballast so that light bulb doesn't get too overloaded. But I can finally get this thing glowing. Anyway, thanks for watching.